Hi and welcome to Rose Red Homestead. We are going to prepare a salmon sheet pan dinner. And I have everything all ready to go, so we'll get started in just a moment. We are really enjoying this sheet pan cooking that we have been doing lately. These meals are quick, they're easy because I don't have to stand over a stove, everything is done right in the oven, and they're pretty easy to clean up afterward too because there's very little preparation in other dishes. So today I am reverting back to my older silver pan. If you remember from looking at some of our other videos, I did get a nice lovely new blue uh, sheet pan. Uh, but today I'm just going to go back to the silver one. And I have a piece of uh, parchment that's ready to go on. A good trick is to just quickly spray the sheet pan with cooking oil, and then that helps the parchment paper stick, which makes it better. And then I just run my fingers around the edges, and we're ready. So, over here, this is our meal. We're going to have salmon. Jim found a wonderful buy on some very fresh looking salmon. Here is some fresh asparagus. I love the springtime when the asparagus first starts coming out. This is grocery store asparagus. We have a, a big asparagus bed out in our garden and within a month we should start having our own homegrown asparagus so I'm looking forward to that. And then this is just some red potatoes that I have uh, prepared in advance. They are quartered and they have been sitting in about two tablespoons of Italian dressing. And they are ready to go right on the pan. Now we are going to pre-cook these potatoes because it takes them a lot longer than it takes the other things. So we want to give them quite a nice head start. So I'm just going to um, scatter them around. And I'm going to um, get these in the oven and we'll let these pre-cook for about half an hour. So I'll be right back here in just a second. The oven is at 425, and so they will, um, they'll be pre-cooked in about a half an hour. Now the next thing that I'm going to do, well I'm gonna rinse my hand, and I'm going to pour out all that extra Italian dressing in the bag and I'm going to reuse this bag. So I'm going to drop the salmon in, I'm uh, not the salmon, the asparagus in this bag and the, little, the existing Italian dressing in there isn't going to make any difference whatsoever. And then to season the asparagus I'm going to, right here, let me show you this, I have taken one lemon and I zested the lemon on the outside and the zest is here, then I sliced it and you'll see what we're going to do with the slices in just a little bit, and then I left half of it so that I can squeeze the juice over the salmon when we get to that point. So now we are going to flavor this um, asparagus. So I'm going to take about half of the zest, which is sort of a a piled up teaspoon here and drop it in. And then I'm going to take a little bit of the olive oil, probably about a tablespoon. And then I'm going to put in about a fourth of a teaspoon of pepper. Actually, I'm just going to sprinkle it in because I can't get that other side open. And we're going to Ziploc this. And then we're going to mix this all together and let this marinate with the oil and the zest and the pepper 
for the length of time that the potatoes are cooking in the oven. So, we've now done all we can do for about a half an hour. So we will be back just as soon as we're ready to take those potatoes out and get the rest of the things going. So see you in just a bit. I just took the pan out of the oven and the potatoes are looking really nice. I'm going to scoop them over to one side of the pan. Now the next thing I'm going to do is open the asparagus and I'm going to add about one teaspoon of chopped garlic. and mix that around before we put the, those out on the pan as well. I could have mixed that in first, but I'm a little touchy about garlic, so. All right, now, I'm going to place the salmon right here, right down the center. And this, by the way, will be enough for two complete meals for Jim and me. So sometimes we really like to do that. Cook once, eat twice, it's always a good deal. All right, now, I'm gonna take a little bit of olive oil and just drizzle that on these fillets. Smooth that around a little. And sprinkle with salt. Now in this little bowl, I have a fourth of a cup of Parmesan cheese. And I'm going to add to that a half a cup of panko breadcrumbs. If you have not discovered panko breadcrumbs, you are in for a treat. So this is just half a cup. I'm now going to add the, the last, the rest of the lemon zest. And then I'm just going to take, oh, a little bit of pepper, too. I'm just going to take my fingers and mix this all around. And it seems a little bit dry, so I'm just going to add a touch of olive oil to moisten it just a little bit. That's about perfect. And then I'm just going to sprinkle this along the top. Now, this is an optional step. If you don't like a crust on your salmon like this, then you can just skip all of this. And it turns out nicely just the other way as well. But this makes it just a little bit crunchy. Now we're going to place the asparagus and I'm going to tuck these lemon slices in between and around the asparagus. And then the half lemon, I'm just going to squeeze over the top of the, asper of the uh, salmon. And our meal is ready to go into the oven. And it only takes between 15 minutes and 18 minutes for the salmon to be all finished and the asparagus to get tender. 
So I'm going to put this in the oven and we'll be back when this is all done and we'll be ready for dinner. This is just out of the oven. It smells fantastic. It looks wonderful and we are ready for dinner. So I am going to dish up a plate for Jim and a plate for me and then we're just going to enjoy this lovely meal. It took only about 15 minutes in the oven and everything is just ready and beautiful. So here is what our plate looks like for our dinner this evening. So thank you so much for joining us and excuse us while we go eat. <laughs>